Hello everyone and welcome back to Random Tech Reviews and in this video I will be going over the Kogan GM9 gaming mouse for $29.99. In this video I will be going into detail about the appearance of the mouse as well as the functionality of the mouse and towards the end I will show you a little bit of the RGB of the mouse. Now one of the main reasons I actually bought this mouse was because I was on a pretty tight budget of around $30 to $40 and I didn't want to have to spend large amounts of money on a super expensive Razer mouse. So this Kogan mouse fit my budget quite nicely and I'm actually quite surprised with the quality of the overall mouse as well as how it performed. Now this mouse is a palm grip styled mouse which means that it uh, fits medium and larger hands quite nicely as your whole palm can rest on it. And I quite like the design of it. Um, so the scroll wheel has two rubber bits on either side which uh, performs quite nicely and it's quite nice on your fingers to scroll with. Either sides of the mouse have this brushed uh, glossy plastic look and the top of it has a nice uh, flat matte uh, plastic which, cool, which feels quite nice in the hand and clicks very nicely. As you can see the right side of the mouse has no side buttons however on the other side of the mouse to the left side there are three side buttons uh, one front button, one back button and then there's a uh, fire button in the middle, however it's not the most useful button because it's actually mapped to the left click button and you can't remap it, so I'm not too sure what to use it for. Now, uh, towards the front of the mouse you can see it has a rather asymmetrical design and I guess this helps with the ergonomics of the mouse and just makes it that little bit more comfortable. Now moving on to the uh, functionality of this mouse, it comes with quite a long braided cable uh, with of course a USB-A on the end of it. The plug has this futuristic kind of design which I don't mind and the quality of the cable overall feels pretty good. Now there are two sliding pads on the bottom of this mouse uh, which is good for easy sliding. It's a laser mouse, not an optical mouse. Um, if you want, you can look up the differences between them. I'm not going into it in this video though. Now, I was actually overall quite impressed with the clicking of this mouse. I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near as good as it was. Uh, there's no sponginess or anything in the clicks. They're very solid clicks. They go right down and I'm overall quite impressed with them. As you can see on the bottom of the mouse, it, there's just a Kogan branding, as well as a quality control sticker, as well as the text uh, Kogan GM9 RGB gaming mouse. Now the right button on the uh, under half of this mouse actually controls the DPI of the mouse, and the left side controls the, uh, the color, the RGB LED colors of the mouse. Now, uh, there's an RGB LED line that goes all the way around the base of the mouse. I'm back at my desk now, checking out the uh, LED colors. Uh, sorry if you can see some uh, some lines going down the screen. That's just from the uh, LEDs. But anyway, let's get right into this. Um, so, as you can see, there is a RGB line across the bottom, which is slowly shifting colors as well as a little logo on the back. However, there is no uh, there's no RGB coloring coming through the scroll wheel. Um, so as you can see, if I click the, uh, the left button, it'll cycle through some colors. I'll just demonstrate that.
And this pretty much concludes all of the RGB LED lighting on the mouse. Overall, I think this mouse is pretty good for the price as it's only $30. So I'd say if you've been looking into this mouse and you're thinking about getting it, you should probably do it. I haven't had any problems with this mouse and I've had it for over three months now. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And if you'd like me to do a, um, our Team U Brown Switch keyboard, which I also bought from Kogan for $40. If you'd like me to review that, make sure you like and subscribe. And comment down below if you have any questions. I'll answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.